Good day, human Latiosites. This is Latios Azuro, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Sword. Here we are back in Modestoke. Last time, we took on the Battle Tower, and we actually defeated Leon once again. This time, before we actually go head into the wild area, I'm actually going to do a make a quick stop in Winden to do a little bit of shopping. Because there is a certain item there that I would really like to buy. So let's go do that. Because apparently this is the place... Wrong guy. This is the place to buy quick balls. And quick balls are probably one of my favorite, definitely one of my favorite types of Pokeballs. So I'm gonna buy about 50 of them. Um, now my actually my actual favorite type of Pokeball is luxury balls. Now, unfortunately, they seem to have risen the prices of them. So you know what? I'm just gonna pass on that. I think we have a couple of them. But that said, let's be moving on. Now. Let's head to near the wild area. We can either go to we can get a hammerlock. That works. Didn't even notice it. Either place will take us there. However, here we can buy another good type of pokeball. We can buy dusk balls. So let's buy some of these. Uh, what else? There's also timer balls. Just in case it comes down to it, these are pretty good to have. And dive balls, I mean, you never know. You never know. Okay. Let's go ahead into the wild area. Now that we have stocked up on Pokeballs. Let's go. Things are going to get wild from here. All right, here we are back in the wild area. All right, we got 2,000 watts. All right, nice. So there is a Zatu raid here to do. You know what? I'm going to see what else there is. Ooh. Oh, hello there, Stuffle. Well, Stuffle. All right, well, we have a Stuffle. I'm not too concerned about catching this thing. It is... Whoa, level 60. Alright, the power creep is real. Okay. Yo. We encountered a wild copper Raja. Well? Hey there. Level 65. You know what? Let's see how good these things are. We got 50 of them. Let's go. Come on. Paparaja, you know you want to stay in this ball. You know you do. Quick balls are so OP. We're catching this thing like it's nothing. All right. So we caught a Paparaja. Square Bunny gained a level. Nice. All right. All right. So I can't imagine we're going to do a whole lot of, like, hardcore battling. But we are catching some Pokemon, so that's kind of nice. They came over from another region long ago and worked together with humans. Their green skin is resistant to water. Huh. India-based region confirmed? Hmm. Alright, well, let's call you... Uh, actually, let's call you, um, hmm, resistant to water, let's call you, resist. Alright. If you're adamant, um gonna be so happy no 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 you're rash okay to the box with you to the box with you all right 
I'm crazy strong and flush with cash. Why don't, why don't anyone battle me? How about you? Do you take me on? Alright, snap to it. Let the battle begin. Alright, fair enough. So, I wasn't expecting to be doing a whole lot of battling, but Breeder Chloe liked the battle. She's got an Inteleon. Hmm. That makes me a little nervous. Just a little nervous. Mmm. Let's see how much Stropek does. There's the Snipe Shot. I will say, Snipe Shot does have a really cool animation. From the Inteleon. I gotta admit that. Alright, as long as it doesn't crit us, we can easily take this. And if it does crit us, we should still be able to take it. Alright, so, two hit KO. Good. Alright, Yamps gained a level. Nice. Next up is Cinderace. Alright. Snap. Snap to it. Let's do it. Let us lock tomb. Oh dear. That hurts a little bit. Although that will slow it down a little bit. So that's cool. So let's finish it off with the liquidation. Never mind, you're gonna pyro ball us. You resist that. You resist that twice. Alright. So, Cinderace is down. Cool. And we're getting some levels. Nice. Alright. Next up is Rillaboom. Calm, I'm gonna let you see what you can do. That thing is gonna probably have knockoff. Which could be an issue, but... We're getting all the money. Let's see how much Psychic does. Yep, there's the knockoff. That kind of sucks. Well! Not sure if the crit mattered. Not sure. Alright, score bunny. Let's see what happens. Let's see what you can do. Let's go. Ah, let's you turn. Are you kidding me? What's with the crits? Does that thing have a scope lens or something? Does that thing seriously have like a scope lens or something? I, I, I really, I call hacks. I call hacks. Alright, cream. Let's go. Dazzling gleam. Yo. Yo, coming out of the drum. Alright. Okay, so... Alright, Gamps, we're gonna go into you now because... Yeah, we're at minus... Is it one or minus two? I think minus two. Oh no, you had a knockoff. Goodbye, Eviolite. Alright, let's nuzzle. The only good thing is that we are getting the, uh... We are gonna get the para off. Can't complain about. Unfortunately, we did lose our Eeyolite. All right. Give me the minus one. Give me the minus one. Come on. There we go. All right. Drum beating. I'm sorry, Yamps. You're not taking that. Not with the. Not at minus one without the Eeyolite. Just no. But, Cream should be able to, I mean, I know the birdie can finish it, but, let's go, Dazzling Gleam, there we go. I don't know what the deal with all those crits was, though, that was messed up. 
You must be pretty amazing you've beaten me. You're a regular wild area expert. Alright, we did get 48,000 bucks though, so I'll take it. I'll take it. Alright. But yeah, that did not go particularly well. You're crazy strong too, I'll teach you a good trick then. There are heaps of items lying around the wild area that people have dropped. Go around picking them up and then selling them off, and you can buy flesh with cash too. I'll work on getting even stronger yet, so come find me with another battle sometime. Oh. Hello there, berries. We got Kelpsy Han and Hondu. Alright. What else? Two Hondu and one Mago. A Hondu. Alright, so six berries. Alright. And something's falling out. Hello there, Greedon. How are you today? I'm thinking I'm just gonna go. Yeah, I'm just gonna go. Alright. So the Mago Berries are gone, so we got a Kelpsy and four Hondu. Alright. I see we are getting more, uh, we are getting more walks now, which is kind of nice. So that's convenient. That said, we should probably go heal up our Pokemon. After that, um, let's say experience. But it is nice to get that 48,000 bucks, I gotta say. Makes up for some of that, a lot of that money we just spent on, uh, Pokeballs, so, you know, something. Definitely something. Alright. And back to the exploring of the wild area. Alright. Alright, I believe this is the Zachu again. Yep. Alright. Ooh. Free stuff. Why does the tree just, like, disappear? It's kind of kind of weird. Alright, big mushroom. Fair enough, I'll take it. Alright. I'll take anything I can sell. Alright, let's get around the Corviknight. Hello there, Halucha. I don't have one of you. Alright, Wild Halucha appeared. Alright, let's quick ball it. Probably not gonna catch it, but you know. Um, gotta go for it, I suppose. Oh wow, these quick balls are good! I mean, I don't see the point of weakening Pokemon where you can just literally just chuck a quick ball at it. Alright. I, I meant to read the Pokedex entry, but whatever. Let's call you... Um... Press. Alright. Alright. Press, I'm probably not going to use you anyway, but hey, you know, we gotcha. That's kind of cool. Whoa. Rare bone. Alright. Hello there, Vile Plume. How are you? Whoa, we got like a thunderstorm going on here. So there's rain and electric rain. Interesting. Okay. Alright. Let's quick call you. Somehow, I don't think this is going to work. But you never know. Well, what do you know? That actually worked. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. But we're catching these level 60 Pokemon uh, with quick balls left and right. 
has the world's largest petals. With every step, the petals shake out uh, heavy clouds of toxic pollen. All right. Um. Well then, um. Let's call you Shake. All right. Cool. Alright, a balm mushroom. Nice. For all the money. Alright, more watts. Hello there, Machamp. How are you? How are you, wild Machamp? How would you like to get in a quick ball? One time offer. They're nice and comfortable. Plus, I don't have to I don't have to attack you this way, which is a lot more comfortable for you, I suppose. Alright, you know what? I offered. I offered. You had your chance. You had your chance. Now well, now I gotta attack you. I'm gonna level with you. I'm not gonna enjoy it. You're not gonna enjoy it. But you know... You know, that, that, that's just how life is sometimes. I don't have to enjoy everything. You don't have to enjoy everything. And you're avoiding my attacks. Stop avoiding my attacks and, and bulking up. I don't like that. I do not like that one bit. I'm, I'm not okay with that. All right, got you in the yellow zone. Not totally sure why you're bulking up the seismic toss, but okay. You see, that is why we bought dust balls. Because sometimes the quick balls, they don't work. They don't always work. Neither do these dust balls, clearly. Cross chop, that's gonna hurt. And you probably crit us. You didn't need a crit here, plus two, of course. Of course. Alright. Let's nozzle. That thing's gonna bulk up. That's okay. That is perfectly okay with me. Because now you're paralyzed, which means I can now dust ball you again. But this time, you're gonna stay in the ball. You know how I know? Because I don't know, because you're not staying in the ball. Plus three, I'm sorry, Yamps. You are not living that. There's literally no way you would. Alright. Cream. Um. Yeah. You're probably, even though it's resisted, you're probably not gonna live a cross chop. But, you know, that thing could stay in a ball. Could stay in the ball. There's, there's definitely a chance it will. And it will! There we go! There we go. Quick balls are definitely prefer and preferred over dust balls for me, but you know, sometimes you you gotta do what you gotta do. Calm, you made it this far the way you are. You really don't need all balls. All right. It quickly swings its four arms to rock its opponents with ceaseless punches and chops from all angles. The super power Pokemon. All right. So let's call you Angles. All right. Cool. Alright. Hello there, Steelix. Hello. Steelix in the hail. Huh. Interesting. Well then. Let's quick fall. I mean, the irony of a Steelix in a quick fall, but still. You never know. You never really know. 
There we go. There you go. There you have it. All right. It is said that if an onyx lives for over 100 years, its composition changes to become diamond-like. The Iron Snake Pokemon Steelix. So... All right. Let's call you... Um... Diamond-like. All right, so diamond-like, you can go to the you you can go to the PC. Hello there, Sigilith. Let's see what this raid is. Wait, what? Yo. All right. 2,000, and it is... Okay. So it's an Indeedee, it looks like. Fair enough. Hello there, Grimmsnarl. Hello there, random wild Grimmsnarl. You know, I recently did some battle in one, with one of you, and you know what? I don't mind you. Why not catch one for myself? All you gotta do is stay in this quick ball. And happy we will be. Alright. So there we go. We got a Grim Snarl. That is actually pretty convenient. Alright. Cool. Alright. With the hair wrapped around its body, helping to enhance its muscles, this Pokemon can overwhelm even Machamp, the bulk-up Pokemon Grimmsnarl. All right, let's call you... I'm just gonna call you Grim. All right. Whoa, that Sneasel's getting a little bit close. IMO. Alright. Although, you know what? Maybe I will go after that. After taking on this Sigilith. Alright. Yo, you don't want to be caught, do you? Sky attack. Alright, you know what? You know what? I don't really feel like messing with you. Couldn't get away. Great. You're one of those Pokemon. Of course you're gonna crit me. Of course you're gonna crit me. Okay. I'm out of here. Are you for real? Are you for real? Okay, you know what? Prepare to die. Take a rock. Take a rock tube. Okay. Let's do this. You're gonna die to the hail now. You are definitely gonna die to the hail. If you live the hail, then I can dust call you, but I'm only gonna get one chance. I'm only gonna get one chance here, so let's make it count. Let's make it count. Because I'm not gonna get a- I'm not gonna be able to do any uh, more damage to you. Alright, I'm not catching you. Sorry! Sorry, Sigilith! You're dying. You're, you're- you're pretty much dead already. Dead Pokemon flying. Goodbye. Goodbye, nice knowing you. Goodbye. Alright. Let's stay away from the hail, I guess. In fact, you know what? I think I should probably... 
like, um, heal up. A 200 watts. And this is the nursery. Pokemon Nursery. Place for eggs. Okay. This would be the place to go if you want to get Pokemon eggs. Alright. Hello there. Hey, alright, we are two brothers known as the Digging Duo. We're digging up treasure here, see? You've got a fair bit of luck finding us here. If you'd like, um, like to spot us some lots, we'll dig you up some handy treasures for your adventure. Alright, let me tell you, I have no lack of stamina, but when it comes to skill, my brother's the best. It only costs 500 watts. You know what? Alright, and this is your brother then? Alright, let me tell you, I have no lack of skill, but when it comes to stamina, my bro's the best. You know what? I, I think I'll value the skill over stamina. Let's go. Get digging, dude. An iron ball. Alright, that's all we're getting. Really? That's the best you got? Come on, come on, come on, you gotta do better than that, you gotta do better than that. Rare Bone, Comet Shard, Shiny Stone, okay. Alright, alright, well we're finding some stuff, you're finding some stuff, I'll take it, I'll take it. We got plenty of Watts, we got plenty of Watts. A Rare Bone, Comet Shard. And that's about it. So, really? So, is there anything, like, particularly rare you can find for us? It's like, evolution stones and high-selling items? So, yeah, rare bone. Iron ball. So, I'm seeing a lot of the same items. Lagging tail. Metal coat. Okay. So, yeah, I guess it's, like, a lot of evolution items and whatnot and stuff we can sell for high prices. Huh. Alright, fair enough. Rare bone. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of rare bones, so I'm guessing that's a pretty common item to dig up. Which, you know, I'll take it. It's it can get us more money. I mean Oh, I feel like Watts could probably help us out with other stuff. Rare bone, sticky barb. Alright, so you're not getting us a whole lot of uh stuff I'm gonna have much use for. But you know, you never know when this stuff will come come in handy, I guess. I mean, I could always get more money. Bottle cap, you know what? I'll take it. I will take a bottle cap. I will take it. Alright, I say we do maybe a few more of them. Because we still, have, we still have a few watts. Might as well use them on something. Rare bone. Dusk stone. Alright. But you know, we're getting some stuff. We're definitely getting some stuff here, and I can't complain. Fossilized bird. Okay, so we can get fossils from here. Sunstone. Sunstone. You know what? So this guy gets us fossils. Wait. No, I'm not finished yet. I can I can still keep on digging. Oh? Fossilized dino. So that's a thing? Alright. Fair enough. So you can get... You can get fossils from this from this guy. Huh. Good to know. Metal coat. Alright. Okay. Good to know. Light clay. So, also some competitive items. That's good to know. Alright, I say two more times, so... One more after this, I think. Rare bone. And that's it. So he wasn't kidding when he said he is, uh, he, he's not too big on the stamina. But you know what? That's fine. Rare bone. Lagging tail. And that's it. Alright, you know what? One more for the road. Come on. Show me something cool. Sh give me something cool. Rare bone. Sadness. 
Sadness. Alright, that's fine. Hello, it's a double scoop. Alright. Hey there, Vanilla. Alright. Let's... Let's quick ball you. Alright, here we go. Quick balls. Alright, let's go. You're gonna stay in this ball. I know you're gonna stay in this ball. You have to stay in this ball. You're not staying in this ball. Mirror coat. What you doing? Alright, you know what? Take a rock tomb. Ice beam, we resist that. Watch it freeze us too. Alright. Rock tomb. Now you're slow. You're not gonna get hurt by hail, so we can throw as many dust balls as we want. I'm definitely not master balling you. Alright, dust ball. Let's go. This ball will catch you. No, it won't. Never mind. You see, whenever I feel overconfident about a Pokeball, it doesn't work. When I feel not confident at all with it, it doesn't work. Like, watch this. This, this dust ball will fail. I guarantee this ball fails. I 100% guarantee this ball fails. 100%. See? See? You think you can cheer cold me? Yo, come on. Come on, Vanilla. Come on. You're not cheer colding me. That's just not happening. No way. No way. Oh my god. You really don't want to be caught. You legitimately- You know what? If you really don't want to be caught, then I won't catch you. Alright? You have my word, Vanillux. If you legitimately want me to leave you alone, I will leave you alone. No problem. All you gotta do is break out of that ball. Alright, you're standing the ball. Awesome. Awesome! Alright. Alright. And snap to in a level. Nice. So, when its anger reaches a breaking point, this Pokemon unleashes a fierce blizzard that freezes every creature around it, be it they friend or foe. Alright. So, let's call you... Double... Scoop. Alright. I want to send you the box. Alright. Berry tree, hello there. We shall shake you! Ganlin and lychee berry. Lychee and leftovers. Okay, you know what? I'll take it. I'll take two lychee berries, a ganlin berry, and a leftovers. I'm not that picky. Alright, nothing on the ground here. Fair enough. Hey there, Gyarados. I had fun battling with one of you, so let's catch one of you for, my, uh, for myself. Shall we? You are intimidating. That I admit. There's no arguing with that. But what I really want to do is football you. Alright, you're going to stay in this ball. I know you are. I know you're going to stay in this ball. There is no way you break out of this Pokeball. Like I said. Alright. So we got a Gyarados. Cool. But yeah, we really should probably heal up a Pokemon. <laughs> Alright. Let's call you. You're the ferocious Pokemon. Um, um, hmm. Dose. All right. Not a particularly ferocious name, but you know, it's something. Get the job done. All right. 
Alright, I did not mean to fly to Hammerlock Hills. I meant to fly straight to Hammerlock, but whatever. That's fine. That's fine. We're still right here. Heal we must. Or our team is weak. Okay. A weekend. Alright. So many Pokemon we have captured. But we still... I still would like to do a uh, max raid battle, to be honest. That would still be kind of nice. So, we'll see. We shall see what our options shall be. Alright. Dusty Bowl. Getting some watts, that's good. Here we are in the giant's mirror. Whoa! Hello there, Braviary. Hello there. How are you, Braviary? I'm gonna catch you in a quick ball. We're gonna catch you in a quick ball. Notice I didn't say throw a quick ball at you. I said we're gonna catch you in a quick ball because I am that confident. I am that confident in the quick balls. All right. All right. Known for its bravery and pride, this majestic Pokémon is often seen as a motif for various kinds of emblems. The valiant Pokémon Braviary. So, of course, I'm gonna call you... You're from Unova, so let's call you... Murica. Alright. So, Murica's going to the box. Alright, we're getting some more energy. I know that I'm being very uh, unfair to unevolved Pokemon right now. That I'm just straight up catching as many of, as many of the fully evolved Pokemon as I can find. But, you know, whatever. Hello there, Mudsdale. How are you doing today? You're gonna stay in this quick ball right now. Although you probably won't, my luck, but you know. You know, still gonna try. Gotcha! Alright! Cool! Cool, we got a horse. These, these, uh... These quick balls, uh, they're really convenient. Mud that hardens around a Muzdale's legs sets harder than stone. It's so hard that it allows this Pokemon to scrap a truck with a single kick. The draft horse Pokemon, Mudsdale. Alright, so... You know what, let's call you... Call you Dale. Alright. To the box with you. And of course we're back in the hail. Which, admittedly, for my team kind of sucks. Oh, I saw an item on the ground. Pokeball. That's a bit anticlimactic, but you know. Do we try take two on Sigilith? I say we try take two. Alright, hello there, Sigilith. How are you? Let's quick fall. Let us quick fall. Maybe this one wants to be caught? No, Sigilith just don't like being caught. I don't know what it is about them. I really don't know what it is about them. Alright, 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 I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm just not destined to catch this thing, so... I'm just gonna cut my losses. I'm not into wasting my time. Oh, hello. It's a Dusk Noir! Hm. 
You, on the other hand. You know what? If I catch you, I can get a dust more without ever needing to deal with the dust box. You know what? Perfect. Perfect. You're gonna stay in this spot. There we go. There we go. I have no qualms against Dust Noir. But Dust Glops is trash. Alright. Calm, you don't need to evolve. You do not need to evolve. Alright. At the bidding of transmissions from the spirit world, it steals people and Pokemon away. No one knows whether it has a will of its own. Well, then I got the perfect name for you. Alright, Will. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. The world may never know. Alright. So this is the, uh... Huh. We already have one of the the Indeedies. You know what? Let's let's see what else we can do. Hello, oh, there, Russell. Uh, sure. You found a rare item. Experience candy medium. All right, fair enough. This is kind of weird. We despawned. Like turned into like first person thing for a second. Weird. All right, 2,000 watts. Oh, hello there, Torkoal. You know... <gasps> Ooh, hello there, Flygon. How are you? How are you, Flygon? You good? Let's go catch you. No reason not to throw a quick ball at you. Other than the fact that it failed. Dragon Rush. You know what? You're you're chomping at the bit a little too much, I'm thinking. Alright, let's scroll pack. You think you can earth power me? Birdie's name says it all. Birdie. Okay. I think Steel Wing is gonna kill, but you know. You never know. Yeah, you pretty much know. Alright, goodbye, Flygon. You know, you could have avoided that if, you know, you stayed in the quick ball, but, you know, it's your choice. Um, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Hello there, Nicket. How are you? I'm assuming you're well. You know, we used a Nicket for, like, Less than a day. Hmm. One of these days I might actually uh, use a Nicket for real. And that brings us back to here. Doug Trio. Okay. We should go a little bit further into here rather than just going into a complete circle. I feel like that's the downside of the camera angle changes. The fact that it's hard to keep track of where we've been. You know I saw an item on the ground somewhere. Eh, well, whatever. Fair enough. More watts. I should probably watts out for these. Alright. Found a rare item. 
experience candies. How is that a rare item? I mean, like, they're small, so it's not like they can get that much use out of them. Gastrodon, okay. Pungent Root. Ingredients for Pokemon Camp. Okay, fair enough. TM. Come on, be something cool. Let me... Ah. Frost Poison. You know what? Not bad. Can't imagine anyone on my team can learn it, but not bad. Not too bad. Alright, we already have a Gyarados. And of course, I'm gonna accidentally run to a Nicket again. Whatever, that's fine. That is fine with me. No complaints. Let's just run. No need to mess with you, Nicket. Not a problem. Nothing personal. I'm not declaring war on Nickets. What is with that? What is with this Doug Trio? It... Why does it have like a thing on it? Why did that Doug Trio have a thing on it? Alright, well, let's quick ball it. Does that mean anything in particular? Alright, we're not catching you. Girl pack. You're gonna keep me queuing? Okay, fair enough. And we're just gonna one-shot you. Alright. You can gain the level. I don't know why I had that thing. 295 watts. Alright, so... If a Pokemon has that little aura thing on it, then it gives you bots when you beat or catch it? Weird. Alright. Oh, hello there. Roserade, okay. And once again, we have gone into a complete circle. So, yeah, that, that, I'm, I'm apparently just about as good with directions as Leon, clearly. Really, you're gonna paralyze, at least for right near town, if you're gonna do that to me, but still, I don't appreciate it. Not in the slightest. Where we seed? By pressure? One of these days, I feel like I'm going to accidentally, um... One of these is I'm accidentally going to use a Master Ball on something, but I don't want to. Like, my rule with Master Balls is only, like, when something that is a shiny that could flee. Flee or kill itself. Either one. Flee, end the battle, and basically any shiny that can end the battle in any way. Then I am... I'm okay with Master Balling it. Other than that, I honestly, I don't like using the Master Ball. Even beyond the whole thing where the Master Ball is a guaranteed capture, blah 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 blah, you only get one of them. Honestly, it just comes down to, I would rather see my Pokemon coming out of a ball that fits it more. So after captivating opponents with its sweet scent, it lashes them with its thorny whips. They say every every rose does have its thorn. Bouquet Pokemon Roserade. So, let's call you... Call you Lash. Alright. So, 
So there we go. With that, we didn't we didn't end up really doing any um max raid battles though. All we really did was uh, catch a bunch of uh, fully evolved Pokemon. But hey, you know. We caught a bunch of Pokemon. That's something. Wait a minute. Don't we have Pokemon that we never brought back? Constructing heavy lift. Okay. Yeah, let's bring our Pokemon back. Alright, welcome back, guys. Job completed! These are Pokemon did an exceptional job. And they got experience. And they leveled up. But struggled a little. Try some Pokemon that are more suited for the job next time. Seems like Metal Fant has something to give us. Just thanks for sending help. We received a can of lemonade. Cool. Cool. Alright, so... Fair enough. Also... So can we... Alright, so... Alright, so we do have the... We can take a look at the uh, at the IV judge, I guess. Um... Lacian is okay. Not great, but okay. Uh, Eternatus... Actually, Eternatus has the best, has perfect special attack and speed, so that's not too bad. I can't complain. Um... Oh my goodness, Type Null, you are not good. <laughs> not good in the slightest, but hey, you know, that's life. The champ is decent all around. Yeah, these Pokemon are just not... Wow. Really bad special attack on, on uh, Double Scoop, so probably never going to be any good in use. Uh, very good attack for a Grimmsnarl. So, you know, that's... I'm afraid to look at our team. Um, I mean, Birdie is modest, which is kind of awful for a Corviknight, but hey, you know, it's, it's you're okay. Score Bunny is decent. I mean, nothing, nothing particularly special from our team, obviously, but hey. That's, that's fine. That's fine. Um. But hey, we got a lot of Pokemon, so that's cool. Can't really complain. Uh, but. I guess next time. We are going to, uh. Continue. Exploring the wild area. So, thank you for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time we continue doing some exploring down in the wild area. Goodbye!